Hi, my name is Alyssa and I keep on drawing Animal Crossing characters. I just can't quit. <laughs> this week's video is a continuation of my A to Z Animal Crossing sketch series with the letter P. It's so crazy that the sketches are all done now. Like I finished all the sketches by the time I'm recording this. All I need to do is finish filming these little intro and outros for the rest of the series and you know, edit the videos and do the narration on top. Um, most of the hard work is already done now because <laughs> the sketches honestly take more time than doing the flat colors or the final touches and shading and highlights. So it's kind of crazy that I'm, I feel like I'm almost done with this series, even though in my final art at this point, I'm only at like 170 something out of 470 something total villagers. So I've got a lot of those to post still. Anyhow, nothing really new to report this week. So I guess we'll get right into the sketches. First up is Panchetti the pig, and I believe this is another like animal named after animal based food thing, because isn't pancetta like a pork belly thing? But <laughs> regardless of that, I think she's a really cute pig. I like her like kind of sassy sweet look, and I think it works with this looking behind her kind of cutesy pose. Next up is Pango, and you guys know I love the anteaters, though I do struggle to give them unique poses since I do think they kind of need to be in profile view to work in this style, but regardless of that, um, I think Pango turned out pretty cool here, and I really like her color scheme. The teal and purple is really cool. Next up is Paolo, and I really love his um, little tiny beady eye and his like big block eyebrow. It's very simple, but it's super cute. And I think I tried to do a little more of an action-packed like Sonic the Hedgehog pose that even if it defies gravity a little bit, like it looks cool, so I kind of went with it. Wanted to add a little variety to the elephant poses. Next up is Poppy, and I'm not sure why they named him this in the English translation because his Japanese name, I believe, is just Okapi, which is the animal that his appearance is based off of. Kind of like how, for whatever anteater that looks like an armadillo, they, they technically Poppy is a horse, but I, he's modeled after an Okapi, which is kind of cool. Makes him a little bit more unique than the other horses, so I can dig it. Still don't know why they went with Poppy, though. <laughs> kind of an odd choice, but it's cute. Next up is Pashmina, and um, I actually, I'm not familiar with this character, but I was inspired enough by her kind of personality I could gather from her reference picture and everything. Um, I really like how mine came out. I, honestly, I think um, I like how it looks like she's plotting something thoughtfully a little bit. I think she turned out really cute, actually. I'm proud of her. Next up is another uh, animal food name, I think, like pate. Duck pate is the thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, but regardless of that, uh, she's also super cute, and I like her really interesting, sad, sweet-looking eyebrows. Like, she just looks like she needs a hug to me, so hopefully I made her look super huggable and cute. Next up is Patricia, and I almost skipped her, and I had to edit her back in the correct order for the video. I skipped her and one other villager who we'll get to later, but I think she turned out fun, and I like that her horn looks kind of like watermelon slices. Next up is Patty, like a cow patty, haha. Ha. There's a lot of like punny names, which, you know, matches Animal Crossing. They have puns for everything in the game, so. I do think Patty, you know, cow patty aside, I do think Patty is a pretty good name for a cow, if I do say so myself. Next up is Paula, and I think she's a really fun looking character, and I like her like weird little tiara that she's wearing too. She definitely looks like she's wearing a wig though, not like bare fur hair, but definitely like a wig. <laughs> Next up is Peaches, and I definitely wanted to do this one justice because I've seen them be semi-popular because they match a lot of like different town aesthetics if you're like into the pastel cutesy stuff. A little bit edgy with the X eyes, like it matches a few different um, vibes if you will, so I definitely wanted to get this villager right and make them super cute. Next up is Pina, another uh, super adorable one, though this one was deceptively tough for me to draw. I had to mess with the face a little bit to get it cute because it just looked off and creepy to me, but the more I messed with it, the cuter I think it, it came out. <laughs> so I actually struggled with Peanut more than I thought I would. I thought Peanut would be one of the simpler ones, but uh, yeah, I think I got it in the end though. <laughs> 
Yeah, see, this face still looks creepy to me, but when I change the smile, it kind of changes the whole face. And the little cute paws, too. Next up is Pecan, which I think is cute. There's two squirrels back to back with food names in the, the P letter, so that's kind of cute. And Pecan is also very adorable. I love drawing the gigantic bushy tails on the squirrels. I love that the tails are the size of the rest of the squirrel in the game. That just makes them extra adorable, in my opinion. <laughs> Next up is Peck, and I had definitely never heard of this villager before drawing him, so I like his unique eyes, how they're just white dots. I don't think there's that many villagers where that's the case. There are quite a few with little black beady eye dots, but not so much white against dark. Peewee the gorilla was pretty tough. Um, you'll see some blue lines, red lines, whatever, where uh, my boyfriend gave his advice because it just wasn't turning out like the strongman gorilla, which is odd because I've done a couple of them already in this series at this point, but I was just having trouble with him, so I asked for a little backup help, and that's what you're seeing right now. And then my red lines are on top of his blue lines, I think, and then I made it my style. I don't know. It was kind of a hodgepodge of styles at this point, but I do think he turned out okay, though his proportions are a little bit off from the other gorillas I've done, so not my finest gorilla, but a pretty strong gorilla. Peggy the pig, I think, turned out really cute. I'm gonna be honest, she's probably one of my favorites of this whole set. I like her cute little bob haircut. I like her happy-go-lucky personality. Her very bubbly personality, I think, shines through in the reference and in my version, I hope. Um, I hope that's the feeling you get when you look at her. I love her cute little bangs and her happy little ears, her little floppy ears, and I'm just overall pretty pleased with how this one came out. Next is Pico, Picoe, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she's super adorable. I love her little hair bun ear things, I love her color scheme, I like her bright blue eyes, she's just adorable, and I think she turned out pretty well as well. Next is Penelope, and how can you not find her cute? She's got a cute little blonde bob haircut going on, and she's got that adorable bow ear hair combo thing going for her. She's super sweet. I really love her. Based on the reference image, I'm going to go ahead and guess that Penny is just from the GameCube game or a beta test villager. Very old, in, in other words, but I like his perpetually happy eyes and his big smile. I think he turned out cute. Next is Petunia, one of two Petunias, and I like this Petunia better than the other Petunia if I had to pick between the two. I like her very sassy, like, what are you up to eyes? Like, she could be flirting, she could be gossiping, you know, choose your own adventure. Next is the second Petunia, Petunia 2, if you will, and uh, I really like her color scheme actually. I like that light teal with the pink and purple, I think it's a really fun, cool color scheme and the clothes actually go with her. Next up is Phil, and I like the red and purple co color combo here, speaking of color schemes that I like. Uh, purple and red is one of those where you either love it or hate it, and I personally love it, but I like his super sassy pose here. There's quite a few sassy villagers in, in the P names, but I like his super sass pose, how it came out, and his cool eyebrows. <laughs> Next up is Phoebe, and I really love Phoebe. I've had her as a villager before, so I really wanted to get her personality down the way that, that I feel she is. It's kind of funny, like, we, we have to imagine personalities for some of these villagers because the game doesn't give us a lot in the way of dialogue that isn't just repeated from a, a bunch of others, you know? But um, I think I conveyed how I feel about Phoebe through this drawing, so I'm actually really happy with it. Next up is Pierce, and like all the jocks, or at least all the jocks I've had in my towns, he's got to be pretty friendly and pretty chill. He's excited to exercise, but otherwise he's not really a jerk, so I wanted him to have a very welcoming, happy, wave kind of pose. So I love drawing the eagles because they have really fun body and head shapes to do. I think they're very satisfying to draw. <laughs> Next up is the first of two clowns that are back-to-back -back in this letter series, uh, Pierre. And I think Pierre is 
kind of creepy looking to be honest but he's somebody's favorite so I did my best to make him cutesy and adorable and lovable and huggable. <laughs> And next up, you either love him or you hate him, Pietro. I feel like more Animal Crossing fans hate him than love him. I personally love him. I have a soft spot for like super garishly colored wacky things and he is that and I just, I really like him. I don't know how you can hate the guy. I think he's cute. Pigleg, however, not the cutest villager I've ever seen. But, like I said, every villager is someone's favorite, so I do my best to make them cute and fun and appealing looking. So I gave him a nice big smile and tried to make him look very jolly, you know? I'll never get over, like, facial hair type stuff on the villagers. I think it always looks a little wacky. Next is Pinky, and I wanted to make her extra cute. I feel like I always put a little bit of extra love into the super pink pastel -y villagers, not only because I think they're cute, but I feel like they're pretty popular among fans because there's so many people that have pink and pastel towns, you know? So I want to show them a little extra love because I know they're very beloved by a lot of people. Next up is Piper, who I had never heard of, but I love the name and I love birds and I wanted to do a really exuberantly happy bird pose here. Something really cheerful that'll just make you smile. Next up is Pippi. Uh, never heard of her before. Not uh, my favorite design, but I tried to make her look super chill and fun. Because I know she's someone's favorite villager in the whole world, so I had to do her justice. Next is Pironcon. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I almost skipped him, which is why his thumbnail looks different and the color schemes are not at the top of the screen, because I did him very last, but I think he's really super adorable and I love drawing his cute little, like, Yoshi butt. <laughs> you know how Yoshi has a little stubby tail? Well, almost like a little duck or something. Just, I think it's cute. Next is Plucky, and I'm not sure why, just like, I think she was an island villager, and the dark brown reminds me of wood, but she reminds me of those old totems from Neopets you had to use to get access to Mystery Island way back in the day. Is anybody else old like me and remember that? <laughs> I don't know, but that's just what I thought of when drawing her for some reason. Next is Poco, who I'm guessing is either a beta test villager or from the GameCube game and nothing else based on the reference picture. Uh, never heard of him, but I tried to make him super cutesy because I like that minimal shocked expression he has. Up next is Pom Pom, another cute little duck. I love doing the duck heads and I keep saying I want to do different duck head shapes, but that little gumdrop marshmallow shape is just perfect for ducks. And another cute little duck butt here and cute little duck feathers. <laughs> Ducks really are just the cutest in real life, so it follows that the Animal Crossing ducks would be super cute too. Next up is Poncho, my old amigo. Um, I definitely had him in my GameCube game and I think in City Folk for a while too. And I don't know if I had him in my town in New Leaf, but I in New Horizons I think I want him to come back because he was like one of those inspirational Instagram guys, but like not the hustle and grind annoying guys, but like just the genuinely inspirational like workout dudes that you see on Instagram. He's very that, I think. <laughs> very encouraging, optimistic personality. You just want to be his buddy, I think. Next is Poppy, and what can I say, except she's another super adorable squirrel. And her color scheme and her little eyes and everything just, it reminds me of fall, it reminds me of autumn, you know? Just a perfect little autumn squirrel villager to have in your town. No complaints, 10 out of 10 villager. <laughs> Next up is Portia, and it was really fun to draw like a super snooty dog because I think most dogs are portrayed as being like very charismatic and loving and optimistic as dogs are in real life, you know, but she's snooty instead, which I think is a fun change of pace. Next is Prince, one of the more unfortunate looking villagers. Again, I'm not down with the like weird five o'clock shadow facial hair stuff, but somebody out there is crazy about this villager and loves him to pieces, so, you know, I do my best. And I think I mess with this pose a little bit more here as well. Make him look a little friendlier. 
think this is one of the only penguins in this letter, if I'm not mistaken, unless I just immediately forgot and we just had a penguin, but <laughs> not that many penguins in P, which is kind of funny to me. What can I say? I think he, he turned out pretty cute. Puddles has the same design issue with the weird circle around her mouth that just looks like a ski mask or weird facial hair, but I think she overcomes it because she's got the cute little heart tee in the pink color scheme, so she makes it work. Next is Pudge, and who upset this bear? I just want to talk. <laughs> How could you possibly scare this little guy like this? Why does he look so upset? I want to get to the bottom of this. He's too cute to be this upset. Next is Punchy, who I had to use for the thumbnail because I just think he's super cool. I think he's one of the more beloved cats. Him and Bob, I think, are like top tier cats for like cool cats. As far as cutesy cats, I think it's like Lolly and Rosie are like top tier, right? What are your favorite cats? Let me know in the comments below. My favorite cat is coming up here last but not least. And last but not least, here she is, my favorite cat villager, Pearl, because I had a cat named Pearl, so of course I would love a cat named Pearl in Animal Crossing too. And I like the blue sweater matching the blue in her ears. Uh, whoever picked that outfit out for her, kudos. I think it was a really good call, and I think it goes really well with her brown and white too. Very color coordinated and fashionable cat. And the last step, of course, is adding in all the color really roughly as I do before I then go on to make the final artwork. As usual, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you know the drill. I sample from the color palettes up top, but I did bend the color palettes quite a bit for a couple of these, like Pinky needed to be more pink and Peanut needed to be a really bright, hot pink purple color, fuchsia color. Uh, so I did stretch the color palettes and break a couple of them because it was more important to me to make the villager look like the actual villager than it was to adhere strictly to the color scheme palette I already chose. So I did bend the palettes for these guys quite a bit, but I do think they turned out really cute, so I think it was worth it. I can't wait to do all the final artwork of these and post them. It's going to be awesome. And that about does it for the P-Name Villagers. So that's it for the P name villagers. Who were your favorite and least favorite villagers in this video? My favorite is definitely Pearl because I had a cat named Pearl and that's spelled the same way, but you know, same name anyways. And speaking of that, do you guys have any villagers that are uh, the same names as any of your pets past or present? If you want to see my progress of the full color art series, be sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter where I post three times a week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.